I want us to remember why we went to Afghanistan. We went in, into Afghanistan because 3,000 Americans were viciously murdered uh, by a terrorist organization that was operating openly and at the invitation of those who were then ruling Afghanistan. Uh, it was absolutely the right thing to do for us to go after that organization. Uh, to go after the host government that had aided and abetted, uh, or at least allowed, for these attacks to take place. And because of the heroic work of our men and women in uniform, and because of the cooperation and sacrifices of Afghans who had also been brutalized by that then host government, uh, we achieved our central goal which is, or have come very close to achieving our central goal, which is to uh, decapacitate uh, Al-Qaeda, to dismantle them, to make sure that they can't attack us again. Uh, and everything that we've done over the last 10 years, uh, from the perspective of the U.S. national security interests, uh, have been focused on that aim. Uh, and. You know, I've, at the end of this conflict, we are going to be able to say that the sacrifices that were made by those men uh, and women in uniform uh, has brought about the goal that we sought. Have we achieved uh, everything that some might have imagined us achieving um, in the best of scenarios? Uh, probably not. Uh, you know, there's a human enterprise and, you know, you fall short of the ideal. Did we achieve our central goal? Uh, and have we been able, I think, to shape uh, a strong relationship with a responsible Afghan government that uh, is willing to cooperate with us to make sure that uh, it is not uh, a launching pad for future attacks against the United States? We have achieved that goal. We are in the process of achieving that goal. And uh, for that, I think we have to thank our uh, extraordinary military, intelligence, and diplomatic teams, uh, as well as uh, the cooperation of uh, the Afghan government and the Afghan people.